everyone, so back for another Aldi grocery haul. Um, I hope you're well. I feel like I haven't really done any videos in ages. I do have a vlog coming out, which I think will probably be before this anyway, but I've had a few messages saying, oh, I haven't seen a video for you for a week, for like a whole week. I've just, yeah, just took a little break. Just been a bit more kind of chilled and um, I don't know. You know, it's like, it's kind of feels like we're nearing the end of the lockdown, but also we've still got the kids home that it actually went back today or at least Violet went back today as to goes back on Wednesday but um yeah I don't know I just haven't been in the mood and I think you've got to be in the mood to pick up the camera sometimes but anyway Audi haul I think I spent 74 pounds something um and then I'm gonna add in a couple of bits that I got from B&M uh, at the end. Okay, so I did actually a bit of a stock up of a few things that we really needed and then um, Yeah, I'll, as always get most of our fruit and veg on a Wednesday But we eat quite a lot of it so it just goes and we just need it and obviously the kids going back to school I just need these extra bits. But anyway, I got some this is frozen stuff So I got some frozen broccoli cauliflower floret mix. I've had this before. It's really nice It's really really convenient and um, it basically just lives in my freezer. I'll just ping it out when I need it. Um, I thought I would try the sliced mixed peppers. Never tried it before, but it seemed, again, really quick. Great for a stir fry. I'll just throw it into quick rice with a chicken or a salmon, you know what I mean? So um, I got that. Home style chips. Thought I'd go for something different. We usually go for the skin on chips, I think. Um, so yeah, they're just going in the freezer again and then some poppin chicken. These are the breaded ones They've got the southern fried chicken, but the kids love this sort of thing um, Like with our pizza on a Friday night. So I've got two lots of those. I think they're 85 peer box They will all demolish both of them. I guarantee um, I really fancied olives um, So I got some pitted green olives and the black ones. I do actually really like them in the jars compared to the fresh ones because sometimes I find the fresh not only do they go off a lot quicker but also sometimes they're just covered in oils and flavors and I just want just a standard olive so um yeah I've got those two lots of bleach I've got some Weetabix and some shreddies and then I really fancied something different for a cereal I don't really eat cereal very often but I've I don't know why, I just fancy some muesli and this one's like the really nutty one with some dried fruit as well. I just, yeah, fancied something a little bit different as a quick breakfast. Um, so I got that, it looks really, really good if you look at the inside there. Um, I got two lots of the capsules, so I use these ones all the time, the three in one. There's only 20 in the box though. I think these are £2.99 and then, or £2.29 I think and then these ones are the stain lift so I just alternate between them um, I've got some coconut milk and some oat milk I fancied switching up a little bit I never usually buy coconut milk but I just thought something different so yeah you mainly use it for my coffee or I use it in the muesli or whatever um, I also got some coconut based yogurt this one's really really nice um, with fruit with granola so tasty some seedless grapes, I managed to savour these. Usually Miles eats them literally when we're shopping, so I managed to savour those this time. So we've got grapes, bananas, whole milk for Miles mainly, and then some delicious, golden delicious apples. I just really fancy those, they just look really nice. Um, some of these cheese appeal, so these are like um, cheese drinks, but their own version. Baby cucumbers, celery, broccoli, I got a pineapple, something different. Um, some wonky carrots, some honey roast ham, some hummus, sweet mini peppers, really fancied those, as well as the classic fruit salad. Basically just a quick, I'm gonna have that today with Miles. Um, that was ATP, and then some pomegranate seeds. We all love these, all me and the kids. And then some minis, these are the little mini pepperamis, great for school lunches. Um, I got two lots of the miniature potatoes. Oh, I feel like the warmer weather's coming, like chicken salads and just potato salad. These baby ones are like the best. So I've got two lots of those. I've got a watermelon as well. We got one last week and just everyone demolished it. 
so it's a good one to get um smoked salmon this is like the bigger pack me and graham love this and then the infused salmon fillets we've had these before the ginger and chili and lime are definitely my favorites so there's two in there so me and graham will have those and then some diced chicken breast I think I'm either going to do a curry with those or the heaters. I'm not 100% sure. And then I got some turkey mints. Um, and that's actually going to go straight into the freezer. I bought some duck legs randomly. These were not on the meal plan for this week. Again, I might just bung these in the freezer. But I just, I love duck. And we haven't had it in such a long time. And these were really good value because they're so big and heavy. Um, sausage rolls. We've got chicken breast slices. I bought these last week and Graham really liked them. So I got another two lots. They're on offer at the moment. And they're kind of really juicy as well. Um, turkey rashes. I bought those before. I just thought I'd get them again. Um, some hard cheese. So I'm going to do the broccoli carbonara. A meal that I haven't done in ages. And I've got some. Graham's actually brought back some really nice. Some of our own bacon. So I'm going to do that and do a spaghetti broccoli carbonara. It's a Tesco recipe. So good, and it's really quick. Um, mature cheddar slices, got those, and then I've got whole grain wild and red rice, and then a coconut rice. Um, going on to like snacky bits, some soft bakes, which are filled with chocolate hazelnut flavor. I think the kids will like those. I've got some Bakewell tart flavor true bars for me, which are basically date bars. They're like the naked bars. Um, so I've got those and then some chocolate fudge bars, some races. Everyone seems to love these, but obviously things with nuts in, they can't go to school. But um, even Graham loves those. He says they're a mixture of like, it's like a Mars bar and a Snickers put together. They're 55p as well, which is really good value. Um, and then some jive bars, which are like knockoff Twixes. I got orange and almond dark chocolate for me. So these are like these are like little bars. Can you see? So it's like a really nice sort of treat without over going like over indulging. Um, so I've got those, and then some sweet corn rings for Miles and some tomato wheels. He already had the carrot puffs. I think he loves these. And then we've got two lots of the chocolate chip cookies, rich tea biscuits. I really fancy a rich tea biscuit. Around me. Some seeded flatbreads. I haven't had these, but again, it just sounded nice. Throw in like a really nice um, chicken salad or like a smoked salmon um, instead of you know using bagels or whatever. Some whole, uh, best of both bread, some brioche rolls, some croissants as well. One of these, this one is going to go into the freezer. Super soft white rolls, they were 30 cents off, they're going to go into the freezer. Sandwich thins for school lunches. Two lots of spaghetti for the carbonara, but I always buy two lots because it's surprising how quick we go through it. Um, some toilet tissue. We've got the butter chicken, which we had a couple weeks ago. It's really nice, not spicy. Everyone loved it. And then I got the sauce for meatballs. And then the onion and garlic one. These are just standard pantry staples. And then on to B&M. They, I just randomly saw these dark chocolate chips. They were two for one pound. Always come in handy for baking. I saw this little camping frying pan. To be perfectly honest, I want to use it now, like as in for like not camping. Um, purely because I've been looking for a frying pan that's perfect for me and Miles, mainly to have like eggs in the morning. I have like a massive one. And um, it'd be nice just to have a, a small one and I'm sure it would do the job. It was only £2.50, not too heavy. Um, plain poppadoms, they were only 69p, so I got those. So uh, I completely didn't go down the crisp aisle in Aldi. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. So I ended up getting them from B&M. So we, I got the smoky barbecue, cheddars, pom bears, and then frazzles. Everyone would pretty much eat these. Um, and these are obviously baby friendly as well because of just them being little bears and they melt in the mouth. Um, and then I got the boys these, Alistair and Graham, for like a lunch. These were actually 50p. And they are the big, you can see how big they are. So as a little treat, I thought they can have those for lunch today. 
because Alistair's obviously still at home. And then lastly, I got this revolving sprinkler, which was three pounds. I think that's gonna be useful for the garden, for obviously the grass, but also really, really fun in the summer as well. They've got obviously all their garden bits. And then I also picked up three of these shades. I'm actually gonna put them in the hallway, been meaning to get some new hallway shades. And um, these are like the perfect size. They're not too big, they're not too small. Really nice, eight pounds each. So I got three of those. 